Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to find cube roots. You can get the worksheet we use in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. When talking about how to find cube roots, the first thing we should mention are square roots. The reason we are bringing up square roots is because square roots and cube roots are very similar. In order to find a square root, you have to find the number that when times itself equals our original number. So like the square root of 9 is 3 because 3 times 3 equals 9. A cube root is very similar to that except you are looking for the number that when times itself 3 times gets us our original number. So for example, the cube root of 27 is equal to 3 as well but it's equal to 3 because 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. Cube roots are also different in the way they look in terms of their radical symbol. If you were given the problem to find the cube root of 125, we would know that we are looking for the cube root because our radical symbol has this 3 embedded into it. Now that 3 means you are looking for what number times itself three times will get us back to our original number, in this case 125. If there is no number there, or if it has a 2 there, that means it's the square root. But if there is a 3, that means you're looking for the cube root. In the case of 125, it would be 5, because 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. The first problem we're going to do showing you how to find the cube root of a number is number one which says find the cube root of 729. Now when finding the cube root of a number you are looking for what number times itself three times will get us back to our original number in this case 729. If you multiply 9 times 9 times 9 you will get 729. That means that the cube root of 729 is 9 because 9 times itself 3 times is 729. The last problem that we're going to use to show you how to find cube roots is to find the cube root of 216. Now once again you're looking for what number times itself 3 times will get you back to your original number in this case 216. If you were to multiply 6 times 6 times 6, you would get 216. Therefore, we know that the cube root of 216 has to be 6 because 6 times itself 3 times is 216. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.